All right, so what are we gonna do today? Now, um, we're going to go over farming because that's the bulk of the game. That's all you do is just auto farm everything to death. Um, I wanna, so if you have finished the story, this applies to you. <laughs> if you have finished Purgatory, this applies to you. If you have Mona, this applies to you because she's the queen of farming for me. Um, she can farm the last practice round. Why is this glitching so much? She can far farm the last practice round, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, one, Lunar ha Hail. She's going to rain arrows down from the heavens and destroy all her enemies. Um, uh, also increases crit damage by 30%, which is always really good. Then if she really takes some damage, not that she will, um, she can hit for Hunter's Mark. Uh, attacks all enemies. Heals Artemis for 30% of the damage and steals enemy AP. We don't really care about that. It's just another one of her moveset. The awesome thing about Mona is Moonshot. Attacks one enemy. Deals 130% attack damage. But gains one turn upon killing the enemy. This is by far the number one reason why to use her for farming. Is because after she kills someone, her turn starts over. And she can go again, but that reduces cooldown. So if she takes out, so what is this? Three turns, she does that move, and then does moonshot. Well, let me re say that. Does moonshot, so she gets another turn, this goes to two. Does moonshot again, kills another person, this goes down to one. Does moonshot again, gets another, um, gets another, uh, turn, and then can do lunar hail again, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to show you my relics, not to get too crazy into them. Um, these relics are actually pretty good. Normally I would run crit damage, attack, attack. But I think the reason why I have her on speed is because she wasn't going first for something. I forgot what it was, but this works perfectly. It really doesn't matter as long as you have, you know, some six star runes don't have to be flawless. And that attack percentage is at least 53. You know, you want to max out your relic. And yeah, attack, attack, speed works perfectly fine. And you just throw these bet. I could probably filter this. You could throw these material cards, you know. You'll throw, uh, yeah, I've been doing this a lot. <laughs> you'll throw these with her. And you'll just watch them farm. So I'm going to do it once so you guys can see. Actually, I might run it twice just so you can really see the benefit of it. Uh, why did that switch to hard mode? Alright, I guess it... Okay. I don't know what that was. But, uh, it's in purgatory mode. Um, which they honestly just made easier, I think. Um, you see I've been doing this before. And we're just gonna run it. And also, as well, she has the leader bonus of increased alley attack by 24%. So all of this is applying to her. Now, the main reason why I think I started to run her is because you do see, um, I think you see a, a lot more of this element here, but it doesn't matter. It Let's run it. Okay. It's lagging a little bit, bear with me. Yeah, yeah. Look at those crit damage, beautiful. Not that we care. What we care about is Moonshot, 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 Moonshot. Good. Easy peasy. Lunar Hail. There you go. And then again, Moonshot, Moonshot, Lunar Hail. This actually is not going to reset her cooldown, so she'll just do a Hunter's Mark, which is fine. I think she might be able to... Yep, Lunar Hail. And then Moonshot's everyone. And then she wins. And... I'll show you how fast this is. I think it's around 46 seconds, which is awesome. 41 seconds. I got this down to 16 seconds. That was with Gaius, but that was just to see how low I could get it. But yeah, that's it. Um, of course, you can do this on any other practice round, but this by far gives you the most money. It's number one. The most XP, obviously, because it's the last practice uh, round stage that you can even do so you if you run 10 uh, 10 rounds of this 
uh, 10 battles, I guess I would say, you will get 200,000 gold. And obviously you, I think you can get at least one and a half of your four star mons to 30. So I think it caps off with one group of four being 30 and then the next group being like 27 uh or 22 or something like that so run it i hope it helps you out um i wanted to keep this video pretty short other than that i hope it helped you don't sleep on mona she is awesome especially for farming and among other things but for farming she's the queen um like comment subscribe Tell me what you thought about the video, and if there's anything else you want me to go off. Uh, I plan on making at least five videos a week, and staying consistent with it, and I'll take a break on the weekend just to chill out. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.